I generally avoid anything on the internet on April Fool's Day. It's usually a quagmire of lame jokes by stiff politicians and poor attempts at humor by news agencies whose daily fawning over the Liberals seems more like a bad joke than any stunt they could manage to pull together today. The only good April Fool's joke, as far as I'm concerned, is one perpetrated, well, by me, on anyone other than, well, me. And with the extreme skepticism I have for anything on the internet today, I saw a very strange tweet by Jim Carr, the Natural Resources Minister. Do you remember him? He thinks it's a good idea to be adding an extra layer of scrutiny to an already extremely onerous pipeline approval process when Canada needs pipelines the most. Now, I suspected his tweet wasn't real. It was too silly to be real. But it is real because he blocked me and then deleted the tweet when I sort of commented on it as it flew past my Twitter feed. Now, this is what Jim Carr's tweet said. Seven minutes with your MP. If you had seven minutes to speak with your MP, what would you say? And then it goes on to ask you for your personal details and the topic you'd like to discuss because Apparently, you can't have a meeting with your MP unless all the questions are pre-screened, I suppose. Now, Carr wants to give his constituents seven minutes of his time. Seven minutes? Seven whole minutes? Whoa, 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 Jim. They just want to talk to you, not go steady and meet your family. Of course, I'm making fun of Jim Carr, and actually, I can't even really stop. Jim is as generous with his time as the Liberals are with the EI extension in the Edmonton area. As in, not at all. Also, if this meeting is in a dark closet with a bunch of teenagers hanging around, just turn around and go home. It's a bad idea. Okay, now I think I got all the making fun of him out of my system. I'm done. Seriously, I'm done. But, if Jim Carr wants to spend seven productive minutes talking to people, he should take his little speed dating routine on the road. Let's say to Hardesty, Alberta, where desperate families are waiting for the government to finally fight for Keystone XL, and they're waiting for them to approve the Energy East pipeline. Cars should maybe go to Sherwood Park, Alberta, where the Trans Mountain Pipeline twinning project should start. Or maybe to Bruderheim, Alberta, where the already National Energy Board approved Northern Gateway Pipeline is sitting in limbo. Now, the latter two towns I mentioned here were left off the unemployment insurance extension. I bet the people in those towns would use that seven minutes with Jim Carr very, very well. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.